so glad to see you. Looks... What Tiden? I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Bassam when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. I should go. Go, my eyes.
feeling a little troubled, but good day, all the same. Fight well, Eivor. area is off limits.
win do some ne hear it when you ask for you mean when it hears be my eyes soon and This is not the first time I've heard a skull sing through tears. It's my beloved Ostrid. She loves me no more. Thus my quill stays dry. No poetry falling from its once proud beak. Can you only write verse when you're in love? Surely. I've not written a ballad about God since I was a girl. Only love moves my heart. Some of the best verses I have ever heard were thrown in battles of wit and rhyme. Not love sick crowing. Oh. I have never seen such a battle. Please, enlighten me. In our battles for glory and blood, we do sing. And give praise to the High One, for Odin is king. And we beg that the High One will give us his nod. That we someday might dine alongside our war guard. Yes. Yes, I see the bricks of this verse. Fight, night... Brawl, Valhall... Uh, no, no, no. Odin's Hall. <laughs> Get me my quill! I should like to hear what music you write. Will you perform it somewhere? If I can get Keener Wolf's bastardly face to help me with this meter. But you will have my thanks in this performance regardless. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile harper from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The gleeman we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. 
I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine Wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean? Large enough to send you into hiding. How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere 50 silver? Fifty silver I can cover, but for that sum I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation-wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans. This place is heavily guarded. been shackled by these dogs of the regime. Justice will be served, and my tale will be told. Isn't it? You disagree with the terms of your captivity? If love be a crime, then yes, I do. For I'm only guilty of such a boon. Me, Kina Wolf of the Gleeman. 
I see. And whose wife did you bet? Oh, the guard captains. And the alewife Luga. And he's an ace muse. But who am I to deny women my company? Hmm? A scoundrel and a poor friend. That may be so, but this scoundrel will play naught but the sweetest music for his freedom. You understand? I, Kine Wolf, have been freed from my bondage and am eternally in your debt. Make good use of your freedom, then. Apologize to your friends and stay out of trouble. He's in a kit and Kine Wolf. That is all the gleeman. Now we will see if they play the square. material doesn't hold a flame to the intensity of his and his older work. material doesn't hold a flame to the intensity of his and his older work. <laughs> Crawling back for the Legionnaire, I see. I'm not leaving London without that sculpture. Then you'll just have to return with more coin, Dane. should not be seen in this area.
How about a round of dice? A message in a bottle? Ah, wise. Hid a necklace in a cow's stomach. Guess you'll have to go fishing for the rest of the treasure. Look at all those delicious fish. Come now, you little scaled cowards. Pull on my line. Come now, you little scaled cowards. Pull on my line. Slippery bastards. Must be the necklace. There's a lot of silver. Why shouldn't I keep it? I have the treasure you seek. Do you? Please give it here then. I found this necklace in the guts of the fish. I could not get rid of the smell. Even reeking of fish, this is priceless. Many thanks. Fancy a game of all, dog? as they say. Not since it almost burned to the ground. All those charred roof timbers really let in the light. 
I heard about that. The whole waterfront up in flames. Well, that side, we are making great strides. Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss. <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten. He's been moping since the wedding. There'll be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Well, that side, we are making great strides to improve the lives of it. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. Well, that side, we are making great strides to improve the lives of its people. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester, another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. together from all over the land like these two fine fellows take me on i will show you feats of strength to rival Thor. come show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table <laughs> 